Hey you guys, Courtney here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to me. If this is your first time with me, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. I do appreciate it. I know you did not have to visit me here on my channel and in my video, but I really appreciate it and I'm glad that you did. And if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, tap the subscribe, and hit the ringy ding bell for notifications. I will support you back. I will definitely support you back if you have a channel. I will support you back. If this is not your first time, then hey everybody how's it going so today we are going to do our ipsy february february 2019 and i'm super excited to show you guys this box i decided i was going to put on the products that are in this box so i just cannot wait to jump into this if you don't know about ipsy ipsy is a subscription a monthly subscription that is ten dollars a month and you usually get about five deluxe sample size products, but you can also get Ipsy Plus. Ipsy Plus is a newer addition to Ipsy that is $25 a month. You get full size products and they are, it's generally around five to six products, but they are amazing products. There is not one single Ipsy bag that I have got, or Ipsy box, excuse me, Ipsy Plus box that I've gotten that I did not enjoy 100% and was completely worth it. So um, you can choose to get just Ipsy or you can get Ipsy and Ipsy Plus or you can just get Ipsy Plus. I've chosen just to get Ipsy Plus because I feel like it is worth it on its own and I don't need all those extra deluxe size sample products when I can get full size products in the Ipsy Plus box. So all that being said, I'm going to leave my link down below if you'd like to try this give it a try see if um if they invite you to do ipsy plus i know everybody hasn't gotten it yet but i do know that they will be offering it if not this month then next month to everybody so there is a wait list right now but there's been a wait list for ipsy on and off for years so i'll leave my link down below if you'd like to try it um i'd appreciate it if you would try it through me if not that's okay too either way we're gonna go through this box together so here we go ipsy february Ipsy Plus, February 2019. So, I'm going to open my box here. Every box um, comes like this with a blue wrapper. And it says, don't be pretty like them. Be pretty like you, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And it also comes with a pamphlet. Now, unlike BoxyCharm, the pamphlet that we get in Ipsy Plus does not have a theme. It's normally just kind of like what's in the box and tells you everything about, you know, it says, hey, Epster, get ready to fall deeply in love with your February Glam Bag, glam bag Plus. So since it's February and since tomorrow is Valentine's Day, um, I think that it was very um, fitting that they sent it. And I love that they have all the pinks and reds on the front because it is Valentine's Day month. So I think Valentine's Day is overrated. <laughs> but nonetheless, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. So I put my Valentine's Day lips on for you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this box. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of go by what the pamphlet says and what order the pamphlet goes. And <laughs> in this pamphlet, I do know what's in here, obviously, because I used some of the stuff on my face already. Um, so, the first thing in here is something amazing. Um, this is by Tarte. This is a palette. This is the Tarte Double Duty Dream Big Eyeshadow Palette. It's valued at $30. Um, get your glam on the go. Pop this pocket size palette with six metallics and two matte shades in your purse to dress up your peepers before RSVPing to any last minute party plans. Tip, look wide awake in the morning by highlighting your inner corners with the color you can. For a night out, line your eyes in Hustle, the color Hustle, and sweep the color Go For It into your crease. So, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what it looks like. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous packaging. Um, the inside of the, I just love the inside of the little place that you open right here. It's, that is the cutest thing with the arrows. I love this cute packaging. It's super cute. This is what the packaging looks like. The same on the outside. Look, I've already got fingerprints on it. <laughs> same as the outside. So, you open it up and it does have a sheet in it, which I love. And this is what our palette looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm going to swatch these colors for you, but I did do a eye look with this. I did an eye look with this palette. 
and I think it is beautiful. The pigmentation in this palette is gorgeous. So I'm going to swatch these colors. So the first one, there, like like they said, there is two mattes in here, or there are two mattes in here. Let me let me get my English right. All right, so there are two mattes in here, and the first one is called Ambitious. I'm a swatching nightmare. All right, so this is a, a transition shade, a brow bone shade, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, that's the old swatch. Um, but this is what that one looks like. It is very beautiful on the brow bone. It's very beautiful to transition with. Um, the other next to it is a um, metallic shade. It's called Wrist Taker. Also a beautiful shade. It is very light. I have this on the inner corners of my eyes. This is what it looks like. Very shimmery, very pigmented, gorgeous color. Next um, we have the color You Can and that is like a gold shimmer. I'm not real big on gold shimmers or gold period, but <clears throat> this one's not bad. It is quite gold though, but this, the pigment in this palette is gorgeous. Um, the next one over is also a shimmer called Happening, and this is probably my favorite color in the palette. It is just, oh, these are just blendable, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. That is like a, a mauve rose. Um, it does definitely look different on my hand than it does on the in the pan. So this is the color here. All right, so the next color over is a very dark color. It is sort of like a brown, a dark brown mixed with black. Um, it swatches a little dry, but it does have some shimmer in it. This, it really is, it is gorgeous. You guys aren't gonna be able to see. It looks black, but it's not black. Anyways, it does have shimmer in it, I promise. It's this color right here. You can see the shimmer in the band. Okay, um, so then we're gonna take, this is it, and this is like a, um, eh, this is just more of kind of like a nude shimmer. Um, there it is. <laughs> then we have All In, and this is a another beautiful like warm tone cranberry color. Very pretty. It's a lot more soft than this cranberry tone, so it's like this one. Ooh, it's like the this one's a little bit more warm, and this is a little bit more dark. Okay, and then the last color in the palette is this matte brown that blew me away. I cannot believe how pigmented this was when I put this on my eyes. I thought I was going to jump through the wall because I was like, "Huh, now I have to do an all brown look." <laughs> That's kind of how I felt. Like I had to do an all brown look because it was so pigmented, you guys. And so this is basically the palette. And I just think it's a gorgeous palette. It's a gorgeous palette. It's worth um, uh, $30. And I think it is worth every penny. And I am so happy to have it. But I basically, just, just to tell you guys how I did my look, I transitioned with that, with that one color. And I went in. So I went in with the transition color. Then I went in with this brown because I didn't realize it was going to be so dark and I did that in the corners. I had to really soften that up because it went on harsh and then I went in with um, the cranberry color here in the corners and kind of brought that in and then on the outside I used this for shimmer outside of the lid and then I used this color on the inside of the lid and for the inner corner highlight and then I went back in with the, with the, uh, the bone color for my brow bone. So I think it turned out very pretty. I think it's a very very good palette and I cannot wait to dig into this color um, play with this color some more play with this color some more so yes that's a very good deal and, and I'm happy to have it so the second product is another palette that we got and I do have that on my face as well and this is from a place that I've never heard of this is a $32 value on this and it is by Mayel I'm gonna call it Mayel Beauty and this is a Sunkissed Bronzer Palette. Here's the packaging on the outside, and here's the packaging for the inside. And this is a Sunkissed Bronze Palette, $32. The Gorgeous Compact does way more than just dress up your vanity. It gives you the look of natural, healthy Sunkissed Glow, even when it's really nasty outside. Just a few sweeps of this bronzer with a big fluffy brush, and you're golden. Literally. Tip, swirl your blush brush around on the entire palette to blend all five shades together and dust on your forehead, cheeks, and the bridge of your nose and chin for a glow that says, quote unquote, I was at the beach yesterday. No, honey, I wasn't because it's too cold. <laughs> but this is valued at $32 and the inside of this is absolutely gorgeous. 
I did use this palette as it as it shows I used the bronzer to 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 go in and do some contouring and some bronzing I used the the highlight colors here to do highlight up here bridge of the nose on the tip down here and I also used the pink color in here which I think is very beautiful this pink color to do my blush so it really is an all-in-one face palette and I'm happy with it so um, the only thing I do not like about this palette is that it smells like cinnamon I don't like the fact that it smells like cinnamon <laughs> but it is gorgeous and I haven't heard of this brand It's vegan cruelty free and um, yeah I just think it's it's super versatile so I'm happy with this one so again this is valued at $32 so that's a really good one and I just love the way it looks on my face I think it does what it says it does it gives a very 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 beautiful glow so I'm happy with that all right, so we are gonna go to the next product, and this is by a company called LXMI that I have never heard of these, this, this company. And this is the product right here. Um, this is the Pure Nilotica or Nilotica Melt. I'm thinking it's Nilotica, Nilotica, N-I-L-O-T-I-C-A. <laughs> it's valued at $28, and it says, when it comes to great skin, there's no need to overcomplicate things. This 100% organic, uh, cruelty-free, vegan, single ingredient balm is the ultimate skin saver. Keep it on hand and on your hands to quench dryness anywhere, anytime. Um, it says, tip, this hydrating balm is a total, total multitasker. Reach for it to smooth away, smooth flyaways and tame unruly brows. So I actually did use this product on my brows because I was telling my friends, um, Chris and Sherry, that I really need to try to find a product that is going to make my brows stay where I put them, right? So I've had trouble with that and I didn't want to, you know, I don't have money to spend on like, you know, extra brow products. So this is actually making my brows stay exactly where I put them. So I'm happy with that. So this is twenty eight dollars. I'm gonna the pack. This packaging is so cute. It reminds me of like the seventies. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Very very pretty. It has like this is like a bronzy color here. So the packaging on the inside is gorgeous as well. Um, and it just says pure Nilotica melt. And it's a nourishing balm to oil. And it does do that. Um, when you put it on your hands, it does melt. It did have a safety seal on it, but I busted the safety seal to get into that sucker. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of put a, put a little bit on my fingers and show you when you're when you're putting around in your hands you can feel it melting into like an oil you really can and that was what I was gonna say it does have a smell to it and the smell that it has to it is actually like a lighter um, scent you can definitely tell it's organic but see you can see it's very oily and I think that it'll be very nice for you know sleeping when you're sleeping putting it under the neck um, I think it's very good, you know, maybe if I could tame my flyaways right now, but then I'd be afraid it would make my hair greasy. But, because God knows Courtney has flyaways like crazy, but I really love what it did on my brows. I really do. If I can only use it for that by itself, then I will be happy with it. So, it's a really interesting product. I really like it, and um, we'll just see how it works as, as we progress, and I will let you guys know if anything funky happens with this, but this is worth $28, and I think um, this is, let's see, 50 grams, 1.67 ounces, so I think this is a good product. I'm really excited to try this. Um, the next product that I got, um, it, it, it is from It Cosmetics, and this is the Heavenly Lux Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush, number six. I do own this already. Looks like this. Didn't want to open this because I'm actually going to give that away to my best friend, Sherry. She doesn't have it. This is what the brush looks like. It is a great brush. I love it. Um, it's one of my favorite brushes for doing foundation and if you guys saw my brush video you know that this is valued at 48 dollars yes we know it it brushes are super expensive but they are totally worth it um you don't need an entire drawer of makeup brushes when you have one that does it all not only does it give liquid products an airbrush finished finish 
it blends powders like a dream that is one thing I have not done with this brush is tried it with powder so I may do that just to kind of see um, it says tip for your skin but better effect for uh, your skin but better effect dot foundation on the areas that need the most coverage lightly buff your foundation outward in a circular motion for a diffused and flawless finish so this is a great product valued at $48 and the last thing in the box is a lippy this is a lippy by a company called finding Ferdinand there is our lippy product Isn't this the best packaging ever yes I love it so this is um, finding Ferdinand lipstick in the color Knob Hill I have it on my lips it's a very very good red it is I don't have a red like this and I was able to use it with my immortal um, Gerard cosmetics and it's this is very moisturizing to the lips I love it this is valued at $30 this classic red lip shade earns a prime spot in your purse an ideal pop of sophisticated color that pulls any look together in an instant no more messy spills because the pop in and out feature will keep your bag pristine even if it falls to the bottom tip Switch up the shade by pairing it with your favorite lighter or darker lip liner to create a color that is just right. Fill in your lips with the liner and then use the lipstick as a topper. So we will definitely be trying that as well because I've never really thought about using a red as a topper. So I'll definitely be trying that. So all in all, this is the box and I, th I did not do any add-ons this month. So, um, and, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I think that this is a great box and I'm happy with it. And with the Courtney math that I'm so good at doing, but with the Courtney math that I'm so great at doing, um, this box, my box is valued at $168, which I think is amazing, amazing. For $25, $168, I mean, that's amazing. I think Ipsy Plus has BoxyCharm beat. I said it, given its run for money last month, BoxyCharm better watch out because Ipsy Plus is coming up on their coattails and in my opinion, it has them beat. That's my opinion. Um, although I am excited to get my BoxyCharm because I do want to see what I get. I do. Anyways. This came at a very good time this month and I think it's perfect the day before um, Valentine's Day for the red lip and everything. So let me know down at the bottom what you guys got, if it's anything different than what I have. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'll leave my link down below if you want to give it a try. If you have any questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to leave a comment and ask me. I love you guys, but I will not argue with you. Let me know what you think of the look. Let me know what you think of the palettes. I will see you guys on my next video. If you like the video, please, please give me a thumbs up, tap subscribe, and hit the ringy dingy bell for notifications, and I will support you back. You know I will. Yes, I will. Of course I will. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, and happy Valentine's Day. I love, 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 love you all. Bye. You see all the brushes being, like, laid out right here. Let me just, let me just fix this real quick. Oh, my artiste brush. Anyhow, so <laughs> I could say anywho, Sherry. Could say anywho, but I'm saying anyhow. <laughs>